see my song. This is how to make ambient beats in FL Studio 20. Also, my bad. This is like my first tutorial, so let me know how I did. And I'm getting over a cold, so if I sound sick, then that's why. So like the best plugins for pads is like Nexus. Dude, Nexus pads. Here, I'll just show you some of these. That is not a pad. I might even use this one. So like, let me just make something real quick. Nah, I'm gonna use a different pad. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. 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 Ooh, okay, I'm using that one. So then, make like fifth chord. Like this kind of stuff. And then listen. You gotta like make it big. And then you gotta add a little suspension. Ooh. I don't know what else to add. Ooh, yeah, and then we could do like a. All right, watch this. Yeah. I'm gonna pitch it down. I don't see enough people doing this. In your ambient beats, bro, add reverb. I just like to add like flanges to spread it around a little bit. Like, listen. You can barely tell because the reverb, but. And I like to EQ out the lows. That's just me. Let me just turn this down a little bit. I'll add more Nexus, but there's, uh, I don't have all of them, but you can use Xenology for pads like that. They're in Dune also. I just don't have it, but my favorite is Nexus. I've been using it a lot recently. Let me find something. Ew. What the? Soja Bowl. Really for Nexus, like, or for ambient beats, like, you just gotta have one sound really and that's it. Uh, let me just... So for hi-hats, you gotta make them like spaced out and kind of like... Sometimes I like to add a little reverb and delay, but it's really personal preference. Let's just get something basic going right here. And... Ooh, I got an idea. How do I do that again? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is this, and then... And then I'm gonna do a little like really tell it on triplets but it's the jersey club or the drill pattern the you know what i mean yeah copy it over and just change it a little bit i'm gonna do it like a another one of the and then i'm gonna do it like a go back here and I'm gonna just have it go back up so this is kind of what I do I'd go on uh, like look at the I go on three and I turn it down that sounds horrible never mind that might be ruin it but I'm telling you, the secret is reverb. You just gotta put it on everything. Ooh. I gotta find an 808. Nah, I'll do that later. Yeah. Yeah.
and then do the thing that Find a different path. Ew. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Bro, this is okay. Keep it at that. Yeah. So, dude, I'm telling you, the main thing is reverb. A lot like nexus pads they're kind of they already have so much reverb on them already but if you were to use a different plugin like even divas got some good but hive like a lot of the pads in here they're good but they're kind of dry like okay well i don't know what that is okay well never mind but i'm telling you the secret to making stuff sound is just bro reverb that's all Missing something. Yo, hold on. No. So yeah, that's the beat, guys. Should I do? Yeah, I'll do structure. So this beat is so simple, though. Like. I'm gonna make a new mixer track with like all the same settings and just half time it right and then clone this copy that get rid of all that make this unique what I do is I put it here put it in the halftime one and that way like this is like the tail of the reverb won't like like watch I'll just you know what I mean So 
other plugins for ambient beats. Hi, Dune, I don't have it. Xenology even. You can even use purity pads. That's how I make an ambient beat, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is my first tutorial, so cut me some slack, but let me know if you want to see more.